What is up guys to another episode of, I guess, I don't know, this isn't really an episode, but another video of programming. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a calculator to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius coding in Java. If I have time, I'll do another video, but first off, I'm going to start by save as, typing in Fahrenheit, and I'll I actually never really knew how to spell Fahrenheit until I decided to make this uh, calculator. So I had to look it up. A, I don't think in school I ever really learned how. We just always abbreviated it. Alright, so here's Fahrenheit to Celsius. Alright, now once I have that, I'm gonna want you're gonna want to go. Well, once you have that, you're gonna wanna import your scanner. This is basically what you always import if you're making a calculator. So any type of calculation type stuff, you're gonna wanna import a scanner. Alright, so that's all you really type in Java U dot util, I guess, U T I L dot scanner with a capital S. Alright, so now I'm gonna wanna make my public class. Um, here you just want to do what you like Fahrenheit to Celsius dot Java just leave out the dot Java uh, Java is case sensitive so you want to do capital F Fahrenheit capital T to capital S Celsius alright and then you're going to want to put your bracket in there so now, once you have that, you're going to want to put your public static void main string. Alright, so yours should look exact. Oh, wait, no, my bad. This is a bracket. So yours should look exactly like that. If it don't, pause the video and make sure, compare them. So, but if there is a minor error, Java, once you're compiling it, it will tell you what the error is. Alright. So now you want to type in scanner input. So this will allow you to input something. Equals new scanner. And then you're going to want to put the system that in oops alright so here you want to type in system dot out dot print so this will print these words that you put into the semicolon or not semicolons but the quotation marks I think they're called so this will print it out for the other people using your program to see. Now this program is going to be ugly. You can make it look better if you know how to use dialog boxes, which I I showed you guys how to make one in my previous tutorial. My first one, I think it's the second program in the first video. Uh, you can pretty much put it together and <clears throat> make it here. That's why I hate that everybody makes a tutorial on how to make like a hello world program because that doesn't really teach you anything. So I'm going to make a program. I'm making this whole thing to show you guys multiple programs. And you can pretty much learn from that right there. Just you can add, uh, take bits and parts, make a, put like mash all programs together and make a really cool program that nobody ever really made before. Right, so now you're going to want to make a double Fahrenheit equals equal to input that next double. This will take what you typed in here for the Fahrenheit and it's going to equal to the next double. So my next double is uh, Celsius. So um, double. So, 
make sure it's spelled right. S E O S U I U S. That's what it was. See, I'm not very good at spelling, so I had to watch it up there. Oh, I mean, I'm not really good at spelling Celsius and Fahrenheit. I never really had to learn them in school, just the abbreviations. And you're going to want to equal that to make sure this is in the parentheses 5.0 divided by 9 times, which your time symbol is if you're holding on shift 8 at the time symbol. You should already know that though. Fahrenheit, shit, by the time I finish this program, I should be able to know how to spell Fahrenheit. Good. 32, and then that's it for this line. And then you want to type in system dot out dot print ln so this will basically just print it out for the person using your program here you want to type in Fahrenheit make sure that's in parentheses because this will show up and you want to space it here so it's not all cluttered together and then do a parenthesis the plus symbol Fahrenheit space the plus symbol again. Now this will just take the uh, Fahrenheit double, which is right here. And you want to space that out. Is space quotation mark space plus space Celsius space plus again space colon space in Celsius all right and the quotation mark and parentheses and semicolon all right so make sure it's all spelled right I believe it is but it should show me anyway that there's an error so now I'm going to want to hit backspace, put a bracket going the opposite way again, hit enter, backspace, and then another bracket. All right now, once I have that, make sure it's named Fahrenheit to Celsius.java and save it. Now, I'm going to use one of my previous programs. I'm actually going to open this up just to make sure it's all the same. All right, take my previous run, edit that. And chain, oh, why not run? Take my previous compiler and change the .java to Fahrenheit to Celsius .java. Now, if you guys don't know how to make a compiler, a simple one, just pause the video here, copy down exactly what I have here. You don't have to put the title if you don't want, you don't have to put color, and you don't have to put echo. It's optional. Alright, so save it and then compile. And there you go, it's compiled. If it says press any key to continue, it is done. Then you want to hit enter, or you want to edit the run. Do the same thing, replace that with your new one, and run it. I'll say enter a degree in Fahrenheit, I'll say 95 degrees outside. So in Fahrenheit, it's 95 degrees Fahrenheit, it is 35 degrees Celsius. Now to prove that works, I'll go on to it again, type in 32 degrees Fahrenheit because I know that's the only one I know is in Celsius is zero. So in Celsius is zero degrees. Alright guys, it's been nine minutes, so I'm not gonna add another program into this video. But I will be having more videos soon. I still have tons of more programs to do. Each program is probably gonna get a little more advanced. Right now it's kind of slow there can be about the same and then they're going to get more advanced so hopefully this helps you learn and thanks for watching and subscribe for more